Happy Hump Day! It's Wednesday. Um, it's my pocket, my key. My key is in my pocket. We um, went and did a little shopping just to Meyer and Aldi. I wanted to get some cottage cheese. I got some more rice pudding. Got a watermelon. Some, um, what else did I get? Some randomness, some cheese, randomness. And, oh, I got me some naan bread, because I'm going to have, I, I won't be filming it. I don't know if I film it or not. I'm going to have this tonight for my dinner, for the soft, mushy potato. And I got myself another one of these called vegetable korma. So it'll probably be enough for lunch tomorrow also. And some naan bread. Because my dad's going to make himself, uh, he's going to put on some Randall beans, like bean soup. And I like it, but sometimes it does not like meat. So, I get kind of scared of bean soup sometimes. Because I had a bad experience. That's all I'll say. Kitty, what are you doing? Um, Adriana, the humper, wants to say he loves you and thank you very much for the tie and posting notes. And... The Humper got a birthday card, which we opened in the kitchen the other day. Got here yesterday? No, day before yesterday. It got here on Monday. Because uh, he opened it after we had mashed sweet potatoes for dinner that night after the hospital. It's his first birthday card, because the Humper's birthday is in a week now, right? What is today? In a week. The 15th of June. He'll be 73. Uh, often imitated but never duplicated. That's you. It's a wiener dog. May your birthday be as special as you are. This is from Joan and Don and all the critters. So, um, thank you so much. And they sent him an Olive Garden card, which he was excited about. So thank you. Since we've gone there once, he's all about the Olive Garden. He really liked their lasagna there. Um, so thank you for that. And... I got some packages today. I'm going to cover this up. This is my P.O. You can't really see it. P.O. Box 255, Buchanan, Michigan. 49107. That's my P.O. Box. I've had that since I was 20. I've had it for a long time. I used to do pen pal stuff years and years and years ago. And then I converted to be personal slash business. This is from Nikki Picky. She's a Michigan gal also. She sent me one a postcard, Michigan. Another pretty one, a campfire one in Michigan. Gorgeous. The Mighty Mac, the Mackinac Bridge. Walked across that in 1984. The only time it's ever happened. I'll never do it. Um, every Labor Day, they close down and you can walk across that. It's a big thing. This is a sticker. She sent me some stickers made in Detroit. She said this is from her personal collection. That's an awesome sticker right there. One, Lake Michigan. Unsalted, shark-free. Yeah. Sand and water, Michigan. Uh, the Detroit. Tigers. And then... Whoops, oh, another postcard. That's a beautiful sky. Where is this taking him? This is Lake Huron. Sweeping part. Sweeping north from Port Huron to the Upper Peninsula, Lake Huron is the eastern boundary of Michigan. Watching the sunrise over the lake is a wonderful way to begin each day along eastern Michigan's beautiful shoreline. Gorgeous. And then this one. Love. Thank you so much for those. We, Ronnie's going to be coming over next week. We haven't seen each other here at the house for a couple weeks because it's just been, it's been crazy busy. We're actually to the point now where we're not taking on any new customers, like any new construction sites or any new farms. Um, we, we'll do some weekend rentals, but as uh, stuff that's going to go out and stay out, we're at capacity, which is good. Um, it's, it's always sad to turn away business, but you got to do what you got to do. One of our trucks blew a radiator today, 
So when I was talking to Ronnie a little while ago, you can hear the humper mowing outside. Uh, he was on his way to South Bend, Indiana to pick up a part. He found he found one somewhere down there. So he's going to get that, swinging over somewhere to get a toilet that we had out for rent that way, and then coming back. And I'll see him tomorrow because I'll be going up to the shop to take payroll and probably have a chit chat. We got a new guy starting tomorrow. We actually he's hiring two guys, and hopefully one of them will work out of the two. We'll see what happens. Um, got another package. I did not know this name. They're from California. And um, look at the pretty card of the little bunny rabbit. Hi, kitty, want to see the bunny rabbit? Look. See the bunny rabbit? She's looking. Yeah. She's a longtime subscriber, occasional commenter. Oh, she goes by C O L L B N. Colbin? Colbin? I, think, I know I've seen that name on, on the, in the comments. I've got to get back to doing this. I know I'm taking a long, long break, but she sent me a small kit, a cross stitch that says Dream. It's got beads. Does it have beads on it? It does have beads on it. Interesting. I guess, I guess that'd be the last thing you put on there. That's pretty. I gotta finish the one. One day. One day I'll shock you all. I mean it. I mean it. It's right here next to me underneath underneath some stuff. So thank you so very much. I'm gonna stick all this in this one little box and throw this um, the big envelope away. Um, what else is happening? Grandma called. We called and told Grandma what happened yesterday. And then somebody had gotten confused. And one of my cousins had told Grandma today that I was still in the hospital. So she's calling me in a panic uh, on my cell phone. And I come out of the store and I'm like, Grandma just called. So I try to call her, but it's busy. But then Dad's cell phone's ringing, so she's calling his cell phone. So he answers it. And uh, I said, no, Grandma, I'm fine. She's like, I, th I thought so, but I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> uh, and then I, I had posted a picture on Instagram of me at the hospital, which some of my cousins um, had saw and then were questioning me, like, what happened? <laughs> it's just an afternoon, which is good. And some people, I've been, uh, thanks for all the comments. Thank you so much for everybody who's commented on my last couple of videos. Kitty. Oh, why? Why? She looks at me like, what? Um, people keep asking me if I'm going to have surgery or all that. I'm not. I have no plans to right now. That was the first any kind of problem I had with it. And, and it wasn't excruciatingly painful. I mean, it was maybe a five, almost a six on the pain scale. Uh, it was uncomfortable, but I was just worried it was my heart. And so once they said, I'm going to watch what I eat for the gallbladder. Um, and, uh, it's not inflamed. So it's not, uh, in, you know, infected in any way. It's just got stones in there. So we're just going to see how that goes. Um, like today I had the rest of my mashed up sweet potato and cottage cheese for lunch. Yeah. Soft foods. He wants me on soft, easily digestible foods for the next couple days. And then I can start having like vegetables. And he said fruits are fine because they're a little softer than vegetables. And, um, that's why I bought a watermelon today. That was two ninety nine. I had to have a watermelon. They had the red raspberries on sale at Meyer for 77 cents, like a, what is it, an eight ounce container? I bought a case of those 12 containers, but I gave six of them to my cousin who works up at the bank. We stopped at the bank drive through I'm like, I have no deposit or anything, but I just have some stuff to give you. So we gave her two big containers of strawberries and six little containers of raspberries. She's like, oh my goodness, I love these. Do you need any money? I'm like, no, no, we just brought them for you. So she's the pregnant one right now. So, this is Avery's mom. 
and uh, she's due September 10th, I think is her due date. So that means November time, Thanksgiving, I'll have a little baby to hold and take a picture of like when Avery was little. All right, I'm going to roll out. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.